Welcome to this video presentation on ABBAC 500S Safety PLC Programming. Before watching this video, we highly recommend you to watch the other video topics on this product, like hardware configuration, I.O. configuration and I.O. mapping. This video is made with an assumption that the listener is well aware of the hardware aspects AC 500S Safety PLC. In this particular video, we would like to show you how to create a sample safety project using the ABB engineering suite called Automation Builder. Well, we here present you as to how to program in SIL 3 emergency stop function with the help of the PLC open standard library function block. Please note that this is merely an example project that would just meet the requirements of stop category 0. In order to reach SIL 3, the emergency stop button is wired as a two-channel input to the safety digital input module. Also one has to use a SIL 3 rated normally close push button, preferably with the test pulse enabled. This means the safety push button is powered from the safety module itself. In this particular case, these two channels are configured as equivalent type and powered by two separate test pulses in order to enhance the diagnostic coverage factor. To make the example simpler, the I.O. mappings are already created as seen in the screen. The signal name is created for channel 0, which is default combined with channel 8. The two contacts of the emergency push button is wired to channel 0 and channel 8 in this particular case. Since this is a two-channel configuration, the signal may need to be mapped only for the lower channel, here it is channel 0. Similarly a single channel type reset button is wired to the channel 1. Appropriate acknowledge reintegration bits are mapped, so that the channels could be reintegrated should there be a channel passivation. After the cause of passivation is removed and a reintegration action is initiated either manually or programmatically. In the I.O. Mapping List tab, we are able to see all the used signals at a glance. It is also possible to edit the signals easily from this window. After necessary configuration and I.O. Mapping, the next step is programming. Now, in the IEC Editor, we need to call the PLC Open Safety Library block, named Emergency Stop in a POU. After effective parameterization of this function block with the right signals, this particular POU need to be called in the main POU PLC underscore PRG. The project need to be compiled and to be downloaded to the safety CPU as shown in the screen. The safety project is downloaded only through the non-safety CPU. Therefore, the non-safety CPU's IP address has to be set in this communication parameter setting. Routing level 1 denotes the project is routed from non-safety CPU to safety CPU. Line 1 indicates the coupler position of the safety CPU, in this example it is in slot 1. Creating a boot project copies the safety project to the internal flash memory of the safety CPU, in order to make it retentive. Thank you for watching this video. And for further knowledge on our safety PLC, please do watch out for our other videos on this product.